So, um, I'm, I'm ta what I'm talking about today is a synchronicity thing with Christianity, how you know you're in the sweet spot of Christianity or, you know, walking in the spirit. There are these coincidences that you notice or, or are happening in your real life. I was watching Marcus Rogers uh, just as soon as he pub published his video on YouTube, how he's walking through Target and he noticed a book for children in the children's book area where this child was bent over and, you know, his butt was out and like literally no pants on and naked and these adults were painting and this was an illustration of these adults painting on the children's butt and these adults interacting with tools on this children's butt and I mean it was just horrible and you know we know what's coming it's it's uh, MAP which is a minor um, attracted persons and this is, of course uh, is on the coattails of other things it's a Pandora's box type situation I really hope you're not looking too hard at my table I don't know what I have on my table okay <laughs> uh, just a t just a record okay um so basically as I'm watching this video of Marcus Rogers you know saying hey why, why are these children why is there, why are these books making children comfortable with adults, random adults, strangers who are not? Nowhere in the book does it clarify these are the children's parents. They're all different people. You know, why are these books trying to make children comfortable with their backside being exposed and interacting with adults? I mean, if you just actually verbalize what you see, you can actually tell what they're doing. And, um... As I was watching this video, my husband comes in with a the book that I, you know, from the mail. It came in the mail today, and I'm watching the video of Marcus Rogers talking about Target and his weird kids books, and this comes in the mail. This is also the week that my ha my family have been talking about me finishing my kids book, um, Christian kids book, and uh, it's just there's just too much going on this week that are too much the same like he walks in with this book as I'm watching that video and the first thing my spirit is like you got to, you got to level that playing ground you got to level that field because if they can be so bold as to do this kind of things in you know two children then we have to be just as bold and say well if if you can have exposed children and and you know illustrated in kids books then we can have Jesus you know, teaching them that their their value is not in their body or their, you know, their identity and sexuality or how another another person like an adult can, you know, manipulate you and hurt you and this is not your identity. You know, those those things are not what I what I define you. We 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 need we need more of this. My family are goofing off in the next room. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, stop. Stop it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm not going to read the book because I want to make sure people go out and get it. But I really like, or well, whoever's watching, but um, I really like the expressions of the horse. I like that the pages feel so nice. Like this is probably one of the nicest feeling books I don't know what the terminology is for pages that are like, they smell good and they're thick in there. The illustration is stunning, stunning. You know, I have a hard time with kids' books that are a little too abstract, where you can't really tell what characters are and stuff, but this book really, really nails it. It's very, very wonderful. So um, I wanted to just show that. Uh, I actually know uh, Pastor um, McCandless. Uh, he is part of the... Um, Stand Firm Ministries, uh, one of many platforms that he attends along. Uh, so there's the other one with a uh, Anderson, yeah, Christopher, um, yeah, Christopher Anderson too. Um, I showed his book last time. Uh, so yeah, I want to kind of advertise some books that are coming into our home, and why I think they're important. Um, see that children know about Jesus in the manger, Jesus on the cross, Jesus rising from the tomb, but do they know he is coming back? But they do not know he is coming back, nor that he will be king. Jesus and his white horse um, completes, oops, sorry, oops, <laughs> oh my, completes the picture of Jesus. Uh, everyone should know by telling his, of his return and victory over Saint, Satan and the Antichrist in his kingdom. In a way, children will understand and enjoy. Well, this is Linda of Christ is King Forever. I hope you go out and get that. 
and I don't know the publishing company, but that's their signature right there. So yeah, uh, may God be with you. Let's, let's look at this wonderful, wonderful hardback book. I'm very excited about it.